Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set your system up and download the new Java JDK 1.8 which has been released within this last week and I'm finally downloading it myself. I did it earlier so I will not be downloading it again but I will show you the steps on how to go through it. So what we're going to do is go to oracle.com www.oracle.com as soon as that page comes up you're going to want to go to downloads and go to Java Java SE so right here the SE stands for standard edition and as you can see right here the latest one available is the JDK 8 which just came out so we're going to click on that icon and we're going to scroll down to the Java SE development kit 8 we're going to accept the license agreement and we can download uh, the JDK 8 that is specific to our operating system and you should know whether you have a Windows, a Solaris, a Linux or Mac and if you have a Windows which I do you're going to want to check out if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit so go to system properties and right here I have a 64-bit operating system so if you have a 64-bit, you can download the 32-bit or the 64-bit, but if you have a 32-bit operating system, you can't get the 64-bit. So what I did was I just downloaded the 64-bit, and when you do that, you can go to your downloads um, folder, or sometimes it'll pop up on the bottom of your screen, and you're going to want to click that and follow the instructions and what that will do is you're going to probably want to just let it do its default folder and you're not going to want to change anything so just follow all the steps and download it and then once you have it we're going to want to go and set up the environment variables you're going to want to go to control panel and then we're going to go to system and security and system and right here we're going to say advanced system settings Okay, we're going to go to environment variables down at the bottom and go down to where in system variables you can find path. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the folder that you downloaded Java JDK 8 in, which by default is in C drive and probably program files Java JDK 8. Okay. And then you're going to want to click into this binary folder which says bin and take this path right here and put it into the path variable here. So the way you do that is you click on this and then you just copy it which is control C. And then you come over here and we have our path. We're going to say edit and you can either put it on the back or the front. It doesn't really matter and as you can see I have put mine in right here the C uh, program files Java JDK 8 or 1.8.0 bin and then you end it with a semicolon and make sure there was a semicolon on the thing before that as well so now what you do is you press OK OK and we can go to our command prompt and if it is working say Java C just to see if all these um, files right here pop up all those commands and whatnot and I created a little file um, on lambdas on my desktop just to see if it was working and said Java C and then lambda dot Java so you can just type a couple letters if you want and say tab and it will try to auto complete it for you so I went to lambdas dot Java hit enter to compile now it should be compiled and you write Java space and it'll say lambdas.class will be uh, what comes up if you do the tab so I'm going to say la tab tab and make sure you backspace off the dot class so it's just java lambdas or you could have just typed that in so you hit enter and my file just had pretty much had 5 plus 5 equals 10 so it works and we have it and 
So please watch the next video if you want to know how to update your Eclipse IDE to where it can handle Java JDK 1.8. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe below.